Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm going to walk you through how to deploy your next year's application to Cloudflare directly. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So you can use this Cloudflare. Uh, here's the bunch of options if you are coming from the different stack uh, like uh, .NET, Astro, Angular. So bunch of other support is already there. All we have to do is either you can start from scratch, just grab this command and just go ahead or you can go with a manual setup. If you are working on any next year's project, you have to follow these steps in order to make it compatible in order to deploy it to uh, Cloudflare. So I'm going to go with the scratch or you can use yarn, pnpm or npm. I'm going to go with the npm. Uh, just open your terminal, hit this command, make sure you have Node.js available inside your system before you proceed. And here we go. It's going to ask for if you want a TypeScript, I'll say yes, I want TypeScript, I want ASLint, I'm going to use a TS, uh, a Tailwind CSS, I'm going to use a SRC directory, yes, I'm going to use a app router, I'm going to use a at the rate input pattern, yes, we want that and import allies would be configured as yes okay and here are the things that is uh, gonna install in the uh, background for the dependencies of course uh, so now it is asking do you want to use a next on pages eslint plugin yes we want that they they are providing a plugin for eslint support uh, that is cool so let's wait and at last it's gonna ask for do you want to deploy your application all you have to do is say yes or no you can deploy it later by simply one command uh, so i'm gonna say yes for now for the development purpose you don't have to pay anything you don't have to add your credit card details so that's a good thing about the cloudflare you can also explore a bunch of other things like kv durable objects for the state management queues uh, like uh, SQS if you are coming from the AWS background so D1 SQL database that you can use hyperdrive is there a uh, bunch of other things that you can explore in later so uh, durable objects is the main thing KV uh, for the key value storage that you can use and queues these are the main common things that we use in order to have a production ready good applications uh, with a bunch of statistics maybe you can go with that so they are already providing uh, nice analytics and logs pattern that we are already using it for uh, multi-factor authentication and bunch of other stuff we are already using it cloudflare nowadays uh, but now they started to provide support for hosting as well and that's that's a good news so for the ai guys as well they are providing a workers related to ai for uh, llm models uh, and uh, if you have a uh, any domain you can simply click on this button add domain you can have uh, you have to set up a name service and you are good to go you can point out your directly your domain uh, to this uh, dns so yes i guess we are ready we are waiting for this in order to deploy so yes here we go uh, now it is deployed to this my next app hyphen aiu pages dot dev and uh, and if you wanted to make any changes and deploy it again you can simply use this command npm run deploy let's check out the code here is the code and let's check out the Wraggler so Wraggler is the main file in order to make uh, that communication between the server deployments and the packages that you are using the services uh, that you are using from Cloudflare so this is something that you have to explore on your own and where you can define your buckets in here maybe if you are using that uh, you can see the package.json in here now there are few commands pages build and px cloudflare uh, the simple command uh, nothing much and uh, for the preview you can use that for the deploy uh, you can use that manually as well so these are the pages uh, they are creating behind the scene uh, the cool thing is if i go to slash api slash hello i should see this hello world in there so let's try this out so i'll say slash api slash hello enter and i can see this hello world in here so api uh, deployed as well so that's the beauty uh, please check it out uh, do let me know inside comment box uh, what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed till then see you soon tada bye bye